it's Ram and Sam of What Yacht To Do. Welcome aboard the Here's To Us. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to take you from Solomon's Harbor Marina in Solomon's Island, Maryland, all the way up to Annapolis, where we're going to stay at the Annapolis, Maryland Capital Yacht Center. It's a <laughs> long name. Anyway, we are had intended to try to go to Harrington Harbor South or North, but hey, there is no room there for transients. I guess it's a busy time of the year and we didn't plan ahead. So let's go, it's a distance of 52 miles. We're gonna see a lot of sailboats on the way. We are leaving Solomon's Harbor Marina in the Holiday Inn and we have to do a 180 degree turn to get us pointed back out the little river or creek that goes into there. Right. We empties were... out into the Patuxent River. Oh. Yeah. We were face, facing the end of the channel when we were docked there. So, so yep. good stop. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, shout out again to Doug, the harbor host, David, the other harbor host, and, and absolutely to Skip, our mechanic, <laughs> who was able to assess that quickly, uh, come back the next day with the right part, and get us Going. Right. It's surprising how many marinas were on in that channel. There going. were quite a few, oh, and it was very busy sides, getting out of there. Very yeah. busy. So you can see we're coming out of that uh, creek in there, and now we're in the Patuxent River, mm. and we will be turning to port yeah. here eventually, and going these, up the north. You part. see the cliffs there on the side. That looks a lot like the cliffs on Lake Michigan. I think it was yeah, where they like had Michigan, some yeah. homes sitting up on reminded, the top. Reminded us of that. Yeah. yeah. One of the things about this trip is we did want to really stay at Harrington uh, South or North, but it was very busy there, so we could not get a slip to take us uh, there for uh, a visit, which we are actually thinking about bringing the boat back there and staying for an entire month. Really? But we couldn't even get that. Uh, oh solidified with yeah. them so oh well we just kind of passed them by and we'll catch them next time next time out right. in the distance there i said what is that <laughs> and so we saw we couldn't figure out what it was but we did see a lot of ais targets and i pretty much identified those as support vessels because we couldn't figure out what this is but as we came upon it I was able to get the binoculars out there and look and see what it was. It is called the Bushu Maru, which is an LNG, liquid natural gas, tanker. Hmm. So not only support vessels, but security vessels, because I would think that thing is rather uh, highly explosive. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lighthouse on the shore right across from it, and I love that. And this boat was built in 2019 and uh, sailing under a Bahama flag, as I remember. Uh, well, you see those security, three security boats. I think that's what I counted out there. You'd know because yeah. of the AIS. 300 meters uh, long, which is about 980 feet. <laughs> It is a beautiful day for being underway in this area. Aren't you surprised how calm the water has been in the Chesapeake? Yeah, it's a nice thing. Yeah, because I heard the Chesapeake Bay yeah. can get really nasty. That's what you know, I heard when a too. storm are coming is coming or, you know, winds can kind of kick up the waves there. I was nervous, but it's been fantastic. 
It's yeah. a beautiful sailboat we got to see right there. We are starting to see more and more sailboats yeah. as we get closer to Annapolis. And mm -hmm. I was informed by somebody that said <laughs> it's the sailing capital of the U.S. Yes, it which is. we can believe. Mm -hmm. Starting to see mm -hmm. signs of that. And out there is another big oh, ship. Yeah. And we zoomed in on this ship to see the name of it and could also see it on the AIS as well. It was called the Lavender Ace, another sailboat there. Right, we made a left turn to get to the marina. And we did have to weave through sailboat schools getting in, <laughs> and then Sam made a miraculous um, docking. Oh my goodness, this is one of the most challenging dockings I had. I actually had to put the bow of the boat between two other boats. The fairway was that narrow. Uh, our boat is 50 feet and I think it was right at 50 feet. The fairway was at 50 feet. So backing into that slip. Oh, there goes somebody Aww. learning how to sail. <laughs> <laughs> And we watched uh, that person. They were taught the right way to get back onto the boat yeah. and uprighted the boat. He knew what to do. So at this marina, there is a pool located right back behind the office in the midst of all those condos around. And I did take a swim one night. Yeah, yeah. you did. Yeah. Really nice. So the weather was kind of, we didn't really Iffy. know what the weather was going yeah. to do. So we said, well, let's take an Uber so we don't get caught in the rain. And as it worked out, we were close enough, we could have walked. So we walked over to Pusser's, and we are now on the bridge between Pusser's and Carroll Creek Marina, looking out, and in the distance there off to the left, you can see the Naval Academy. And as we're panning around, you'll see where we're eventually going to end up is the chart house down there. So we walked across that bridge, and we had a cocktail at uh, Pusser's, but then we said, hey, it's time for an appetizer. So we went to Carroll Creek, and we tried to see Paul, one of our buddies on uh, Snow Goose. Uh, he was nowhere to be found, but had a nice appetizer at Carroll Creek. And that looks like a peaceful place, but there were tons of boats moving around mm -hmm. i guess i just took a picture at the right time yeah but this I'll... boat was just kind of cruising around and i guess that's what it is it's a show place for big beautiful boats yeah. like that just uh -huh. an awesome boat and tons of sailboats yeah and people on there and i don't think they're social distancing but <laughs> hopefully they knew each other chart house ended up there and it was about time to get inside because right. it really rained it a whole did. bunch a big storm when yeah. we were in there. Chart House, always a great place to go for dinner. Well, thanks for coming along with us on this trip from Solomon's Island to Annapolis. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do. Uh, it's real easy to do. You just hit the subscribe button and then also hit the bell if you right. want to be notified. Mm -hmm. And if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up. Right. We also have a corresponding blog that goes along with these each of our trips. So go to whatyachttodo.com, check it out. All right, see you next time on What Yacht To Do.